Hi everybody. Well, here we are in change orders, and let's uh, just do a quick tutorial uh, on the change order module, and also just a quick reminder that you can get to the other training videos, more in-depth ones, uh, under the training video uh, on the main menu section. So let's jump into change orders. Uh, a couple of things here. We have create new change order. Um, when you're going to create a new one, you have your filter button up here. When I click that, I can run a filter on my list view, so by project, by date, by status, et cetera, and billing status. And then we have a keyword search uh, to look for a change order. And then we also have the board or what's called the can ban view uh, for change orders. And as things move to different statuses, I can drag and drop those into a spot that I want them to go to. I'm going to go back to the list view, get back to a change order, and let's jump into one that we have an existing change order on. I'm going to unlock the record using the green uh, pencil icon. I'm going to select a project, required field, red asterisk, bill two. Uh, if you are billing somebody else, again, I always use the example of property management, so working on a unit, but you're going to be billing um, somebody else for that, the property management company. You can attach the original estimate to the change order. Subject, required field. You can do requested by and approved by. And on the phone apps, you do have a signature line built in. So if somebody says, hey, I agree, that's a change order, you can say, okay, well, let's get one started. You can fill out the change order, have them sign it, and approve that change order right there. Kind of saves that argument when you bill it a month later and people just don't remember. Having that signature is important, and that's uh, available only on the phone app for the phone or the tablets. So change order number, date. Customer, description, time delay. Many times it is a time delay on a change order. So I can put the days in here. Billing status, now very important here. As I'm working on the change order, I'm probably gonna leave it at open. Maybe it gets denied, but I wanna save the record of it or it's on hold. And then you can change this to unbilled and approved. And then it will it, a user setting, but you can have it automatically import into your schedule of values slash invoicing, or you can set it to just import, unbilled, and approve change orders. So that's the top part. Now the items section, I've got to select items to filter. So if there's numerous items, I can look at it by equipment, labor, material, sub, etc. And when I go to build out my items, I've got some options. I can add a, just a blank one-off item. I'll show you that in a second. I can import from a database, and I can add a discount to that change order. To just add an item manually, I would just click here, and it brings up our box item name, item type. Is it material, equipment, labor, sub, or other? Quantity, price, and unit. Markup, I can either do a percent markup or I can do a dollar amount markup. Calculate my total. If this is a subcontract item, it might be that um, you're performing some of the work, but maybe there's a subcontract line item. So you assign this to the subcontractor here. This will also go into their subcontract as a change order automatically, that line item, and show up. The cost code, I'm going to select your cost code from your cost code list. Write a description if need be. I'm going to open up an item that I already have. And so dump trip with labor. I'm going to open that up using the green pencil. I can delete using the red trash can. Dump trip with labor. Item type other. Again, select material, equipment, etc. Got it marked up 10%. No contractor on that. So I'm just going to add the items that I need. Here's a labor item, so 15 hours, $45 per hour, with a 20% markup comes to 810. So just however many line items I've got in that, I can add an attachment right here, and I'm going to hit submit. Once I hit submit, the action box becomes available. I can archive this item. I can email it view the PDF, or if I'm an admin only, I can delete that item. Only an admin can delete items in contract reforming. So there you go. There's the quick tutorial on change orders. Thanks.